Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss Aries Sun with Cancer Moon. So as you guys would predict, this is a very, very strong combination. Aries, the sun is exalted there, feels great, feels powerful. With the moon, it's exalted in Cancer, feels great, feels powerful. What this creates is somebody who very much has a strong persona. Somebody who has a very stable mind and has a lot of emotional intelligence. With having this stable mind, it comes to steadfast activities that lead to a great manifestation. The reason for this is because when your mind is not being polluted by um, not real fears, illusions, different paranoias, you have a very clear, concise mind to direct it towards a given purpose. And in turn, you end up getting that purpose faster in comparison to somebody that may have a cloudy mind or may have fears of failure or fears of being criticized or other people judging them. If you have the confidence of Aries with the emotional stability of Cancer in its own moon sign, then you're going to be able to withstand the obstacles and hurdles, and it's going to make it almost look like you have a lucky streak in life. So with that being said, it, people might view you as somebody who life just seems to work for you. You have to watch out for jealousy and envy of others, especially around your finances, because the way that you're able to manifest is manifestation requires you to not really have much doubt in your mind and this is something that's often overlooked by a lot of astrologists numerologists palmistry tarot card people everybody they look over the fact that you need to have a very clear mind and be very very sure of what you want to do this is why a lot of people that when they go through trauma or have a death in the family or something really t like terrible happens to them they all of a sudden snap into this like savage this person that just wants to get this thing done has a purpose very clear-minded and boom done because they, they've been through something cataclysmic that caused them to change their mindset. With you guys, you guys already have the proper mindset and don't require this transformation. So with that being said, use this to your advantage. You can do anything in job-wise, like being a psychologist, a therapist, a mediator, lawyer, any sort of medical professional, because you guys are able to work with people in a one-on-one -on -one setting or even in group dynamics and emotionally understand each person and why they're acting the way that they're specifically acting. This is a skill that's often very overlooked, but it's necessary for our society to run as a whole. So with you having those skills, I would recommend a career in the medical field or legal field, simply because you have to work with people that a lot of people do not like to work with, like the sick or people that break the law, or just people that are victims of people that broke in the law, right? But you're emotionally stable enough to handle these given things, which leads you to get high stress jobs, which in turn leads to high pay. So you guys are meant for a lot of big money in life. Um, cancer being in the fourth house as well, that'd be great if it, the cancer moon is in the fourth house. That would mean that you're able to get good home, conveyances, and a lot of good successful businesses. So it all depends. If you guys have any other questions, hit me up below and I'll answer them specifically for you. That's it, guys. Peace.